Hello, you guys. Happy Vlogmas. I'm literally only doing Vlogmas for like the rest of the week before Christmas. I'm in line to get some Starbucks. Get a little bit of a Starbucks drink. I watch Kelsey Kruppel's Vlogmas, which I love. I just, her videos are so comforting for me. I adore her. And she gets like a Vlogmas Starbucks drink of the day. And then every week that goes by with all the drinks that she's gotten, she reviews like the best one. And she got, I wanna try two of them throughout this week. She tried a iced peppermint mocha, which sounds really good. My favorite drink at this place called Mary Lou's that me and my friends love. Um, Sorry, we're scooching up and I just don't want you to fall. My favorite flavor drink at this place called Mary Lou's that we go to, um, I believe she's the local girl in Miss Massachusetts. Lighting is just not giving. But my favorite flavor there is the Girl Scout cookie and it's like Thin Mint flavor, so it's like chocolate, chocolate and peppermint and coffee. And I'm like, oh, like maybe peppermint mocha at Starbucks would kind of like be a similar thing. And Mary Lou's, I don't really have one close to me, so it's kind of a hike to go get the Girl Scout cookie. So hopefully this is an equivalent to that. It comes with whip, whipped cream on top. I have a weird thing about getting whipped cream on iced coffee. The really liquidy substance with the whipped cream on top, if unless it's hot, like a hot cocoa, I don't fuck with. Put whipped cream on a frappuccino all you want, but on iced coffee, that irks me. One time I said with cream, once at a Dunkin' because that's the only coffee you get with like actual real milk. One time I was ordering that and I said with cream, but they thought I said whipped cream and they put whipped cream on my iced coffee. Here's a picture of me in my defeat because I was feeling some type of way about that. This is what I'm ordering today. I don't know why it took me so long to say it. I'm getting a grande iced peppermint mocha with sweet cream cold foam instead of whipped cream. Kelsey just got it with the whipped cream. I do believe she said it was yum. I think it was like her second favorite to the matcha one she got with like couple pumps of peppermint and something something so let's get it and try it everybody i'm very excited yum this is gonna be yummers i think my starbucks always posts a little cheeky question you cannot read this who picked the yellow the yellow marker color what's that even say i toned on the exposure so maybe you guys can read it but i literally can't what do you call a in an obnoxious reindeer what do you guys think <laughs> what do you call it oh my god oh my god it's my turn please this looks so good this looks so good cheers oh my god that's a 10 out of 10 yum that's a yum oh my god that's so good try it try my drink you should guys should try it it's the drink of the winner Okay, I'll see you when we get to Savers because we're about to thrift. Get your coffee, get in the car, we're going thrifting. Just lied to you guys, I forgot I told my mom that we would go get her some Red Hots for our Holly candy that she's going to make. She loves the Red Hots on it. Personally, I don't because I don't like that like spicy cinnamon. Like, I love cinnamon and I love spicy stuff. I don't like spicy cinnamon. <laughs> but I just pick it off the Holly candy. She's making this. So good. It's a classic and it turns your poop green. Get into it. Um, but let's go find the Red Hots. I stopped at Stop and Shop. Hopefully they have it. Okay, let's talk about this drink just a little bit before we go in. They put the little chocolate chips on top. And listen, you some of you guys might fucking hate me for this. I know it's controversial. I, I'm a pulp girl. I love chunky. <laughs> I love chunky shit in my drinks like i love boba i love like slurping up something and having like some little chunks in it like i love pulp in my oj and these little these little chocolate chips kind of serve the same purpose okay it's really chocolatey so like this is a treat but like who doesn't deserve a treat these days you do if you haven't gotten yourself a treat today please go do it literally turn my video off and go do it if you need to whatever you need to do whenever you need to do do it it's giving like a a cold yum peppermint hot chocolate but with coffee in it on the rocks okay we need to go Okay, I tried the baking section. They didn't have. So the candy section is my next guess. 
I just thought I was going to walk in and find them. I don't know why. No, because they have hot tamales, but they don't have the red, the red hots. Because th these are the wrong size. So that was the silliest. Because I FaceTimed my mom with the other candy that was the wrong shape. But I was like, maybe we can chop them up. And she was like, OMG, Phoebe found the red hots. And I was like, classic. So we are good. But then, Phoebe's my younger sister, by the way. Then... I was instructed to buy potato chips and white bread. Such a nutritious pickup. Okay, now we're finally going to Savers. You need some new uh, feel good music? A new feel good artist? Will Joseph Cook, let me put you on. Just good driving, feel good vibes. Sorry, there's fuzzies on you. I'm parked outside of Savers and I'm about to go in, but kind of exciting. Raina just texted me that our editorial is published. It's finally up. It's entitled Pandemonium and it's, I think I did like a shoot with me vlog for this shoot. I remember vlogging it, but yeah, it's on PAP Magazine. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to look at it. I'm going to post like some of my favorite pictures now on my Instagram. They used a bunch, which I'm super happy about. I'm very proud of it. I'm super excited with how it came out. The cover is kind of fun. I'll put it right here. Okay, let's pop in and see if we see if we can find any any goods. Not me thinking this is cute and then it being like a Patriots charm bracelet. Okay, hi guys. That was the quick trip. It was packed in there, so I didn't really want to like film too much but eight, 18 bucks total if you could see that i got two tops a skirt and a pair of versace glasses i was like okay they're these little like readers which is so nostalgic for me because i used to wear these glasses like these frames they were like my og glasses i can try to find some photo references i had them in like blue and then i had them in maroon and then i got a tortoise and then another tortoise, and then I went back to the kind of wire, which like these are my prescription glasses that I wear. Um, but I'm blind as a bat, I don't know if y'all know that. And my prescription changes all the effing time. They're also like very lightly prescribed, like nothing crazy. Nothing these eyes can't take. But it's just like funny to me, like I remember feeling like significantly less pretty because I had to wear glasses, specifically these ones, and then now I'm buying them for style, which like is kind of a slay. So like, let's rewrite this narrative, girls. But here they are. Oh my God. It's like I see like my fourth grade self. I love glasses. I think they're such a cute accessory. I ideally would buy like more frames just to wear with my contacts. I don't really wear my glasses out ever because they always like fog up, especially with masks. They're always slipping down cause I'm like sweating or like whatever. So I would like to just like be able not to like need them to see, but more as an accessory, but I do need them to see. But if I buy a pair that's not prescription and I wear my prescription contacts, then it's just an accessory. And I'm just another girl. Ooh, 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 car coming in right next to me. Cringing, cringing, and I'm embarrassed. Here she is. They were $2. I dig them. I really like wearing my like huge Ed Hardy glasses that I have, but those are just like, sometimes those aren't the vibe. Like sometimes you can't wear those with every outfit, but when I want to do like skinny OG, throw back to my roots, my fifth grade nerdy glasses, I got them on deck now. I also, on my thrift list, I'm actually so excited that I found for the longest time has been one of just these classic dress shirts in this like blue. You know what I'm saying? I'll try to like show it to you in better lighting so you can actually get a grasp of what I'm talking about. But that blue, corporate New York, you see it all around town. But I want to style it in very much like Sintra inspired way. She's always playing with like formal work wear and like contorting the silhouettes and like playing around with how layerable they are and how you can make it kind of cool and mix it with like like your modern funky style like i just i'm into that and i want to try it out so i bought that i'm super excited i bought a gray skirt that i think would be really cute to pair it with should i show you fine just a gray long talbot skirt this is her i hope it hits low on my waist but i tend to think that my waist is a bit more snatched than it actually is girl let me tell you so we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But either way, I'm excited to like layer it. It's super nice and long and like thick. Good winter skirt, I'm psyched about it. This is cheeky and this also could be really cute with the gray skirt, very like Sandy Liang inspired. That skirt's very Sandy Liang. Same with the dress shirt, like that kind of vibe. If you guys know what I'm saying, I'm putting inspo right here. This energy, you know, I'm really into that. Look how cute. 
very stretchy it's giving like hello kitty like if hello kitty was a girly like a, a human i feel like she'd be wearing this the brand is tempted 449 i love a little off the shoulder like Show a little decolletage. Get into that. I love a one shoulder too. Oh, they're so hard to find. Like a long sleeve, one shoulder. Very blue marine. I'm always looking for it, but can't ever really find it. Okay. I think it's time for me to return home. We've had a fabulous errands adventure. Um, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I have a dentist appointment and I have a haircut where I'm going to touch up my roots and trim my bangs so that's so exciting i'll take you guys there but i don't think i even said i'm home i'm from right outside boston like in the suburbs so she's a mask girl so i'm here now having a suburb christmas but yeah every christmas eve my mom and i drive into boston and we go skating in the frog pond and i think i vlogged that last year if you remember that was a really cute day love doing it just me and my mom it's great nobody else wants to go ice skating with us <laughs> So, I have a very much a like blended family vibe. So, my stepdad and his sons are Jewish. And so, to combine their tradition of getting Chinese food every Christmas Eve for like Christmas, we do that on Christmas Eve now. That's always a good time. We like get takeout. We don't like go out to a restaurant because at least I'd way rather be in pajamas, like chilling in the comfort of my own home, eating a crab rangoon, you know, rather than be out. And then I have my friend Rollerball Swap. I definitely vlogged that last year because I remember editing that. And I like had to edit out every other clip because my friends are screaming and like singing random shit. And I'm like, this is the worst footage I've ever seen. So I don't know if I'm going to vlog that because last year. But maybe I'll get some silly clips. There's some fun things coming up. I mean, it's kind of like dinky. I hope some of this is interesting. Am I millennial vibes for doing this heart? Because I, I hate this and then i know this but this just comes so naturally to me okay the sun's setting and it's like hitting my face right now so sorry if you're being captivated by my beauty right now but what do we think is this a stupid heart i think it's so cute i always do this on the end of my videos and whenever i'm editing i'm like put that half heart down you look dumb girl <laughs> you look stupid but i love this heart it's always way cuter than this the fuck is that? I hate this. Maybe I'm just bad at it. Oh, that actually looks kind of good. We're gonna go. Bye. Actually. I wanna have a bagel. Do you have bagels? Yeah, they do, but they're not very good. Hi, guys. Serving pretty. Me and Phoebe are picking up our brother this morning from his flight. Mm -hmm. Being so sweet. I'm going to get as Kelsey Kreppel got and it was her top drink. An ice matcha with vanilla sweet cream, cold foam, and three pumps, two pumps of peppermint. You know what? Judge me, girl. It's just gonna take a long time. That will not take a long time. I don't think that'll take a long time. I mean, Trust me, I've seen people make matcha, it. like the way they made matcha was so inappropriate. They just literally put the scoop in, shook it once and twice, and then poured it in the cup. I was I like, I wanna get a chai latte, but at the same time I'm allergic to chai lattes. So. But I'll try the drink for you guys and let you know how it tastes. Thank you. Yummers. Cheers. We're not going to speed the Whoa. Oops. That tastes like a yummy vanilla ice cream with a little bit of mint tea in it. This is so hot. Okay, um, really good. I would give yesterday's drink um, a 10. I'm giving this a nine. My brother's on a work call. Okay, me and Karen are about to go take some Instagram pics. Instagram. Um, this is style everything together that you bought at the thrift store the other day challenge. <laughs> because I am literally wearing every piece that I bought yesterday. I have the Versace glasses. You guys getting the vibe? Maybe it's terrifying. Getting the vibe. Has the vibe been received? And then, thank you so much for following this. And then my blue shirt, and then my off the shoulder pink top, which layered over is a little, it's irking me a little bit, but I think we can do it. <laughs> Just kind of this part showing, it's so unflattering. I need a corset or something, it's killing me. 
and then I have the, the gray skirt, and then my knee-high boxing boots. I'll link them in the description if you want to shop them. And I did a little bit of a black plum liner with my Cookies and Dream lip gloss by e.l.f. Okay, let's go shoot, you guys. I'm bringing this white lace to see if it could be cute on my head. have to be quiet because my brother's on calls. We're gonna watch Lindsay Lohan's new stupid Christmas movie and decorate some cookies. Hey Gorginas, I'm outside my dentist's office. <laughs> Can't wait. Uh, about to go in. Hopefully, they tell me I've been good at flossing because I've really been trying. We're having a Trader Joe's party for our charcuterie. Oh, oh you're right there. Hi. I'm doing a little 12 3 30. And watching um, Emily in Paris season three. What did you I got the YSL Libra. I got Lake and Sky 1111. Really good. If you haven't smelled, go smell. Go to your local Sephora and smell. We all loved it here. I was gonna ask Sophia if that was from Sephora. Feel what'd you get? It's from Ulta. Clean Reserve. Clean Reserve by Sal. The one and only. I didn't know the vlog was here all night. I would've been acting up. Okay, I got YSL Black Opium. She's a classic. Like, she could be like a going out scent, but like, steal. yeah, but like she's stolen. It was your, your stolen concept. I have the full size of her bag. No, I know, I know, I'm like bumming a little bit, but like, it's a good travel size to like fit in my purse. Hi, how does Chloe do this? The girls. Can you guys read it now? Can you guys read it? Backwards. No, it's backwards. Oh, oh. <laughs> right there. You probably can. <laughs> we'll link it below. My camera's so stupid. <laughs> All right. Happy holidays. <laughs> we you love all. you. Sub subscribe. Yeah. Tossing to the one and only. The ones? It's hard. It's really hard. It's really hard. Pretty good lighting. What's happening? <laughs> Introduce yourself to the vlog. Uh, uh my name. <laughs> my name is Bryce. Why are you talking? <laughs> tell, tell the crowd you're very young. I live in Chicago. Where'd I'm home for the holidays. I went to University of Illinois. Yeah, love Chicago. And back with the crew. Yeah. The fam. Much How is the perfume ball? The roller ball. It's incredible. I, di I didn't get the one I wanted. I was like, um, I liked the Burberry perfume. I think that was my favorite. Hey, oh. okay. happy Christmas, Bob. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all I have. Hi guys, mom and I are parking right now. I have eyebrows again. I'm kind of scared of them. <laughs> I'm, scared, I'm kind of scared of them. I'm not used to them, so yeah. But I think I will get used to them so. soon. It was just about time, and my hairdresser, I was seeing her, and <laughs> she was like, should we do it? And I was like, yeah, let's just do it. The upkeep has been kind of annoying, so 
So it's a new year, new brow. Let's do it. And then we touched up my roots and now the roots are looking good. She trimmed my bangs, trimmed up the layers and stuff. I think next time I wanna go over the blonde or maybe even do it myself because I have a bunch of bleach at my apartment. We got the hair touch strip. And then now we're gonna go walk over to Boston Common and go ice skating at the frog pond. See you there. Last year, this bag. Stop talking. I feel like it's as old as me. Hey.